Hi there! Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Holly, and today I've got a quick little video about um, basically the sunglasses I've bought recently to take on my cruise and how I'm going to pack those sunglasses. Um, so it's going to be a little bit of a crafting video as well because I'm going to make some pouches for them. Okay, so first let's look at my glasses. These first ones are just from Walmart and they're Foster Grants. I think I paid, I don't know, $7.87 for them or something like that. Or they might have been $12.87. Uh, they weren't expensive. I don't buy expensive sunglasses. Um, I do have two pair of Ray-Bans, um, both of which I'm sure were not cheap by any by any means, although probably not that expensive either, but somewhere in the ball in the middle ballpark. Um, but both of those I found because people lost them, which is why I don't buy expensive sunglasses. Uh, I did buy one pair of expensive sunglasses years and years ago, and I lost them on a, uh, a raft trip down the river. So yeah, I don't buy expensive sunglasses. So these are Foster Grants. Um, basic, simple sunglasses, nothing that fancy or anything. Okay, the second pair I got at Marshall's and these are French Connection and they were on clearance for $8. Um, I think they were originally maybe 12 or 13. Um, you know, I don't know how much they were before that, like their original manufacturer suggested resale price, but I got them on clearance at Marshall's for eight, so bargain. And this last pair, you're gonna laugh at this, these are from Dollar Tree. So a dollar twenty-five, <laughs> they're UV protection. That's all that matters. I actually don't even like polarized sunglasses, so I never buy polarized. But anyway, yeah, a dollar twenty-five at Dollar Tree, and I think they're kind of fun. So, and I think they'll go with some of my outfits. So, anyway, now let's get back inside, and we'll start doing the crafting. <laughs> So along with the various sunglasses, I also got a pack of three reading glasses, uh, Nicole Miller, and they were on clearance, I want to say for $6, but I'll probably show you a video here of that. Here they are, trying them on. Again, just fun little glasses I thought I'd take with me. Cheap, doesn't matter if I lose them, break them, whatever. Um, so, yeah. Okay, now to talk about what I'm gonna do for cases for all of these glasses. Um, so, first off, I have this old one um, from, I don't know what it was from, probably a pair of regular glasses I had from some uh, some optometrist somewhere. Um, I like these spring-loaded ones. 
I have this one, which I got in Australia absolutely decades ago. I have this one I just recently purchased at Walmart a couple weeks ago, and this is the case I originally got to put the Foster Grant sunglasses in, which were the first ones I bought. And then I recently picked up these three at Dollar Tree. Again, only a dollar twenty-five, but they do have the spring-loaded opening. Now, my problem with all of these, for the most part, um, and actually the Dollar Tree ones are probably the softest inside, is that all of these kind of have uh, not that soft a material on the inside of them. And I do have this one. Uh, actually, I have another one somewhere else, too. I have one of these. Um, things for sunglasses, which are like the same material you use to um, clean glasses. Um, and that'll be fine for, for like, say, that pair uh, to go in this pouch. So that's what I'll do for that. But for these other pouches, I need something that will be nice and soft, that won't scratch the glass up, uh, especially on these cheap glasses, because it's not like they're uh, anything that won't scratch easily. So also at Dollar Tree, I got this pair of fuzzy socks for $1.25, and um, what I will end up doing is cutting them in half, and I will um, close off, well, on, on the toe end, I will just uh, use my serger to sew that um, so that the glasses can just slip down into them. And on this side, on this side that I cut off, I will seam this together with my serger. And then this will be the end that the glasses just slip down in. So there's four. that I can make four little uh, pouches that will then go inside of these um, for me to put these glasses in. Now, I know that leaves one without, um, but I think I do have another one of these somewhere um, that I can put down inside one of these pouches. So... Let's go do the sewing on this and see how that comes out. So here they all are, and I will, okay, so this pair of sunglasses is just got um, the candies bag in it. These are the Foster Grants. And then these are the Dollar Tree white glasses with the sock um, top portion. Fits in there just fine. And then these are the French Connection sunglasses. Again, with the top portion of the sock that I just sewed together with a serger where I cut it here on this end. Okay, so those are the three sunglasses and I can tell those apart with the different cases. And then these are the reading glasses. So this is the toe part of the sock. Here's the brown ones with the red 
earpieces. These are the ones I'll most likely wear. And these are the black ones. And um, this is just a um, another sunglasses case that I have that's got a soft velvety fabric on the inside. So just put that in there. And then these are the plain tortoise shell reading glasses, again, in the toe section of the sock. So that was a quick and easy way to um, make them so that they're safe inside those cases and not getting all scratched up. And I don't know, I probably will not take all six pairs of these. I probably will take all three pairs of sunglasses and I'll only take one pair of reading glasses and that's probably gonna be the ones with the red earpieces. Uh, I will have another pair that's really tiny that fold up um, just in case these get broken. I always have that spare pair with me in a bag anyway. Okay, so that is it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and have a great day. Bye-bye.